The future of Maroochydore's Big Top Shopping Centre became clearer today with the announcement of a $20 million refurbishment. The owners, Reed Property Group, said that at the heart of the centre's transformation will be an all-weather, fresh produce market. We're really excited about what we've got planned. We're going to integrate an all-weather market concept with over 100 market stalls that will operate a few times a week initially with a traditional shopping centre that's anchored by a 4,500 square metre Woolworth supermarket and about 35 specialty shops. So it'll be the first time, to my knowledge, that, that we've been able to uh, combine the two traditional operations and bring them together under one roof in an all-weather atmosphere. Ten years ago we purchased the site. And we've uh, invented, if you like, a, a number of schemes for this over the years that for one reason or another haven't come to fruition. Um, but in the end, good things come to those who wait and we're really excited about what, what we're doing here. We intend to hold the asset for the longer term and we think it'll provide a real uh, shot in the arm for Maroochydore and really invigorate Ocean Street, Dewport Avenue and create a meeting place that we can all enjoy. Council's draft plan uh, has the desire of uh, seeing Ocean Street revitalised. I know the Maroochydore Revitalisation Association are very keen to see that. We see it as an ideal location for uh, a hospitality precinct, uh, for restaurants, cafes, coffee shops uh, and the like. Um, it's beautifully positioned in what will be the, uh, the, the CBD of the Sunshine Coast um, and I'd be encouraging people to you know, take up the opportunity to get on board. Uh, the Big Top Shopping Centre in its new form won't be here to compete with the plaza, it's here to complement it and that's why our focus will be on local produce and we really want to make it a destination that people can enjoy, relax in and experience the best that the Sunshine Coast has to offer, not competing with the major retail brands that are across the road. We think that the, the sales structure, the tents are quite iconic and they're very easy to identify. And one of the reasons that we're confident that an all-weather market will work here is because of the volume of air and ambience that you can create under those tents. They'll obviously be replaced. They've been up there for 25 years and they're in a terrible state. You know, I'm scared to walk through here and it rains, quite frankly, because I feel embarrassed about the state of the centre, but such has been life that it hasn't been able to be updated prior to now. So the tents will stay, they'll be new, uh, and the internal facade of the centre is being completely renovated, the shops are being repositioned and um, quite voluminous market halls will be incorporated in, into the new design. I think that the uh, overall aesthetic and feel both externally and internally will be completely different to what's here now. And the market operators are, are particularly keen to establish themselves in, a, in an environment where they get the benefit of traditional shopping, so presumably more custom as a result but also they know, you know whether it's 40 degrees or 4 degrees, they're going to be in an environment that, that is still enticing for people to, to um, frequent and try their wares. This is a great uh, initiative that's really going to work well for local growers and producers. This um, business here will be open for business in a year's time and that will really give us enough time to start planning and talk about the possibilities for new growers and those who are wanting to expand. So that's great. 40 years ago, agriculture was the key industry for this area, uh, largely sugarcane. Uh, we're now seeing the birth of sort of boutique agriculture, uh, high value, um, high quality, uh, significant variety. Uh, that are available here locally on the coast and I think consumers will respond to that in a very positive way. Look, I think with the popularity of markets um, in a period of, uh, of affordability uh, and in a period where people are you know, conscious of where their food's coming from, I think they'll flock here. I think they'll...